So guys, that is it for the 2019 British Grand Prix. And what a race we had at Silverstone. One of the best races I think I've ever seen live. And definitely that is the best, uh, best race of 2019. So many great battles, so many overtakes. What a classic race. And we are now, uh, for the next 10 minutes or so, going to go into the race and look at how the teams and drivers perform. But first... Let's get into the results of said British Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton wins from Valtteri Bottas second, Charles Leclerc third, Gasly fourth, Verstappen fifth, and Sainz, Ricardo, Raikkonen, and Kvyat and Hülkenberg complete the points and then not finishing the points, but finishing the Grand Prix is Norris, Albon, Stroll, Russell, Kubica, Vettel and Perez, and then retiring uh, Antonio Giovinazzi, Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen. But now let's get into the teams. First off, Mercedes will get another 1-2 finish. Great result for them. Uh, but between the two drivers, this Grand Prix was the first proper race we've seen these two go wheel-to-wheel -wheel in 2019. Hamilton today, you have to say, was clearly the faster driver, but did not do enough to uh, pass and stay ahead of Valtteri Bottas in the first stint. He did pass Bottas briefly going into Brooklands and Luffield. But going into Stowe, Valtteri got him back. Great racing between the teammates. Then, of course, Valtteri pitted. Lewis stayed out to try and do some hammer time laps and do the overcut. Safety car came out. And Hamilton, of course, got the lead. And he was never going to lose it, especially with Valtteri Bottas having to do a two-stop because he went from medium to medium at his first pit stop. Now, in terms of the tyres Valtteri went on to, it was... Definitely a bit of a shame for Valtteri that he had to go onto another set of medium tyres and he definitely could have gone onto a set of hard compound tyres. But I think at the end of the day, Valtteri was never going to beat Lewis Hamilton. Lewis, somehow, someway, would have got past because he was quite clearly faster than Valtteri during the British Grand Prix. For me, Lewis Hamilton deservedly tapes his sixth win at Silverstone. He now has the most ever wins at, uh, at the British Grand Prix and uh, now takes an even more commanding lead on his world championship. Next up is Ferrari. Very eventful race for Ferrari. Charles Leclerc first off got away at the start in third and then came under massive pressure from Max Verstappen for seemingly forever as Verstappen tried so hard to get past but Leclerc was staying ahead with great defence. Then they both pitted Leclerc and Verstappen. Verstappen did get ahead, but then Leclerc straight away got back past and stayed ahead until the safety car where Ferrari really did screw over Charles Leclerc by pitting him when they did, uh, what, one and a half laps into the safety car period. Very stupid decision, but at least for Leclerc, because of the whole Vettel-Verstappen incident, it did, in terms of a podium finish, work out in the end. Also, his overtake on Pierre Gasly was one of the best overtakes I think I've ever seen. To go clean right, uh, around the outside into three, for the, uh, the inside into four. Wow, what an overtake. Charles definitely did drive very well today. For Sebastian Vettel, though, he was poor today. He really was. Uh, he was P5 at the start. Good start for him. But then got comfortably passed by Pierre Gasly, which was a bit weird to see. Uh, then he stayed out longer than his teammate. Safety car came out and that did help a lot because then he could, uh, you know, pit under the safety car and come out in P3. But then because he wasn't quick enough, Max Verstappen got to the back of him, got past him. Then as Vettel down into the final chicane trying to get past, he went straight to the back of him and basically ended his race. And, well, it's pretty clear to say Sebastian Vettel at fault. He went straight to the back of him and completely destroyed Max Verstappen's hopes of a podium finish. And you have to say Vettel um, has been terrible this weekend. This has been one of the worst race weekends in his entire career. He has to get his act together, especially with his home race just around the corner. Next up, Red Bull, also very eventful for them. Let's start off with Max Verstappen. So, as I said, he was battling with Leclerc, got ahead at the first pit stop, but then got passed uh, very quickly by Leclerc. But then, uh, because of the safety car, 
because of the safety card coming out uh, sorry about my, my throat hurts a bit very long day guys uh because of the safety card coming out um max verstappen then got past charles leclerc because ferrari pitted leclerc when they did and that was great news for him then after the safety car he got past gasly because gasly i think let him through because he was faster then he caught vettel passed vettel then vettel took him out the only thing that is rather surprising is how he finished the grand prix because he got hit so hard on the rear diffuser and the rear wing i don't know how he didn't retire from the race but there you go p5 for him um at good points for red bull they did outscore ferrari today by seven points so good for them uh but it could have been better of course with max verstappen had he not been took out by sebastian vettel and for gasly good race for gasly he this was the first race this season where he was actually good and i can you know compliment him on a good race great pass on vettel Good defense on Charles Leclerc. Yes, Leclerc did mug him around the outside for turn three, but I think Gasly had a good enough Grand Prix. And if he was maybe a bit faster, maybe he could have got a podium. But I think Gasly has had for the first time in his Red Bull career a good weekend. But for Red Bull, a good weekend, but it could have been better. Now let's get into the midfield. First off, Renault. Daniel Ricciardo, uh, good drive, getting into P7. He pitted an extra time compared to other drivers. And I think Ricciardo, to be honest, um, if the safety car didn't come out, I think Daniel Ricciardo probably would have finished at the front of the midfield because he was very quick today. And I think, again, uh, was deserving of doing that. He didn't pass Carlos Sainz at the end. Carlos did very well to defend, but Ricciardo, in the end, did not have quite enough pace when it mattered to try and get past uh, the McLaren. But good race nonetheless for Ricardo. Hulkenberg had a bit of a weird race. A decent start. Uh, did get passed by Alex Albon before the first pit stop. Then uh, at the restart of the safety guard uh, got hit by Perez and lost a couple positions. And then had some sort of incident with Daniel Kvyat which saw him go off the circuit and he lost position to Kvyat. And then right at the end, he got past Alvin because Alvin was on dead tyres. So a bit of a weird race for Hulkenberg, but at least he did finish in the points. But for Renault, good weekend, but they still got outscored by this team, McLaren. Who, despite not having the best race or the best weekend, I think McLaren will be very happy with the result. Because they've still come away with the most points from the midfield eight points for carlos Sainz, and i think mclaren should be very happy with their result of course lando norris p11 i believe yes his uh second pit stop was a shame but he had to pit a second time because his tire wear was quite bad i think the safety car really did affect his result because if there was no safety car i think norris would have probably finished in eighth or ninth but that's just what happens but for carlos Sainz. Basically, after getting up to P11 at the start, ran long, got up to P6 or P7. And then when the safety car came out, of course, pitted and came out the front of the midfield, which is exactly what he wanted to do. And that's what he did. But yeah, good race for McLaren. And going to Hockenheim, I think they'll be pretty happy with their performance. Next up is Alpha Romeo, who with one of their drivers had a good day. I will start off with Giovinazzi, who was very poor today. Um, he dropped position after position after position in the first few laps, even you know losing time to the Williamses for some reason. Then eventually, around lap 20, he retired with a puncture to the right rear. And that is what caused the safety car. Uh, so yeah, poor for him. But for Kimi Raikkonen, great drive. He wasn't looking that good at times. He was down at one point in P14, but somehow, someway, got in there, got points, got past Alvin with a great move into Stowe Corner and a very good drive for the Iceman. And I think Alpha will be happy with their result because they're now starting slowly but surely to pull away from uh, the teams below them in the Constructors for P6 and the Constructors, which at this point should be alpha's aim in the constructors for 2019 so 
good result for Kimi and Alpha, and hopefully they continue this good form. Next up is Haas. This has been the worst week in their history, and the race was the worst in their history, because both drivers at the start took each other out, and they both retired because of it. Disaster, or rather a disaster for this team. And going forward, I think this team's done for 2019. I don't see how they finish below, uh, or higher rather than ninth in the constructors. Next up, Toro Rosso. Both drivers drove very well today, and the car was actually pretty good today. First, Alexander Alban drove well today. is a, is a big shame that his tyres fell away like they did at the end, because he was consistently, up until what, lap 50, he was consistently in the points and driving very, very well. But his tyres hit the cliff with about five laps to go, and he lost position to Raikkonen. Uh, Kvyat, Hulkenberg and Norris. Shame for him, but a very, very good drive. He definitely should not be disappointed with himself. For me, though, driver of the day is Danny Kvyat because he went from P17 to P9. He was driving very well at the end. He got past Stroll, Hulkenberg, his teammate. And if there were more laps, I think he would have passed Kimi Raikkonen for P8. It's a great drive for Kvyat, my driver of the day. And for Toro Rosso, Good result, very good result, and hopefully at Hockenheim they should be slightly better at Hockenheim because I think that track will suit their car uh, better. And then finally is Racing Point. Uh, for Sergio Perez, he was looking good, but then he blew it by hitting Hulkenberg and breaking his front wing. And then for Lance Stroll, good start, but the, the car's not quick enough to be in the points, and I don't think he was really that quick this weekend either. So not that good of a race, honestly, for Racing Point. And last of all, of course, is Williams. I will say, great drive by George Russell, who at times was only 10 seconds behind that Stroll, Albon, Norris fight. What a drive from Russell, and I think he is clearly showing that if he was in a McLaren, a Renault, a car like that, he would be right at the front of the midfield. He is a great driver and possibly a future world champion. But guys, that's it for this review. Don't forget to join me tomorrow at 12pm UK time for the incident analysis for the British Grand Prix. We're, we're going to look at the Leclerc Verstappen stuff, the Vettel Verstappen crash, and loads of other stuff as well. So don't forget to join me for that 12pm tomorrow on Monday. 12pm UK time, that is. But yeah, great race at Silverstone. And hopefully, after you know two great races in a row, hopefully they just keep on coming.